Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Mental Monday. I hope everyone is doing great. Unfortunately, this Mental Monday will be up on a Tuesday. Um, I had to take some very much needed self-care uh, this weekend. My brain was just totally mush from doing so much content lately that I really just need to take a breather. If you're new here, my name is Sabby and I upload videos every Monday and every Saturday. On Mondays, I do Mental Mondays, where I go over a mental health topic that's been heavy on my mind. And on Saturdays, I do Serial Saturdays, where I delve into the mind of a serial killer, fictional or non-fictional. Lately, however, anytime I've been trying to upload a Serial Saturday on a real serial killer, my footage gets really wonky and weird. Little spooky, if you ask me. So I'm gonna just do a fictional character this Saturday. Let's see what happens. Other than that, I provide tools, guidance, and knowledge on mental health due to my struggle with depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Now, if you're not just stopping by, I definitely recommend subscribing. If you know anyone who struggles with their mental health, or you do, or if you're interested in profiling serial killers just for fun like I do. Now, when you already struggle with depression, either daily, weekly, monthly, seasonal, or just when traumatic triggers come up for you, it's already a struggle to just make it to the next day, the next step, to whatever's coming next. Now when you throw heartbreak on top of that, it makes everything 10 times worse. Now from my experiences, I've been through many heartbreaks in my life, and each time that I've moved through those, I've learned something. I've learned something new either about myself or how I am in a relationship and how I need to improve or what I don't want in a relationship or a partner. But it took me a really, really long time to get there. And up until recently, with my recent breakup, I always dealt with breakups in the most terrible, toxic way possible. I'd either go start dating someone else and then repeat the same habits like in my video I talked about last week, and I'll link it up here now. I'd either just keep dating the same type of person and keep recreating that heartbreak, or um, I would party, or I would drink, or do God knows what to try to numb the pain. Now this time with this breakup, which happened in early October, I did things differently. Um, I decided to just completely let myself feel whatever I needed to feel. So that's my first piece of advice. I know it sucks and I know it hurts. It hurts to go through any sort of heartbreak. It really does. So with people who don't struggle with depression or any sort of mental illness, um, going through a breakup is a little easier for them. I'm sure it's painful. I'm sure no matter what, right? Pain is pain but you don't have a monster in the back of your head making things about 20 times worse for you because that monster in your head makes up and recreates these stories and ideas in your head that everything is your fault um, or that you're never gonna find anyone else like that person. Basically putting the worst possible case scenario in your head reoccurring 24 seven. But when that happens, you have to allow yourself to feel any and all emotions that you are feeling. If you're in your car and suddenly a song reminds you of them and you just feel this gut-wrenching pain in, your, in the bottom of your stomach and you just wanna cry, cry. If something you see reminds you of them and you're angry, grab a pillow and scream into the pillow. If there's something you wanna to say to that person that has sun suddenly triggered you to like reach out to them and like crack text them and tell them all the things that you've ever wanted to tell them, don't do that. Write it down. Write it down somewhere, journal it out. Call a friend, talk to a friend, that's what friends are for. If you don't have anyone you feel safe talking to, I recommend going to a therapist or finding some online help where you can speak to someone. The second thing, now you'll notice obviously, I mean if you've been through a breakup and you have depression at the same time, um, you'll notice that you'll hit a certain point where you're just numb, uh, nothing phases you. 
and not in a good way. Legitimately, you, f you feel nothing and just that's normal. It's okay. I mean, once you're processing all these emotions, it's really, really normal to then hit a point where you're just kind of done and you don't feel anything. However, when that happens, your motivation goes out the window and legitimately just waking up in the morning and put getting yourself up and out of bed and through the door to work or whatever you need to go to is really, really hard. So my second piece of advice is find something that you can do every day. If that's work, then make sure you show up for yourself at work. Do the best you possibly can. If it's working out and going to the gym, do that. Throw yourself into something that will better yourself. Do something that will help get everything that you're going through out. Now for me, fitness was a, is a huge part of getting through any and all breakups. Now the third thing that I did is I threw myself into my passion in order to get my emotions out. Everyone has an outlet for the, their emotions and how they process things, right? Um, so eventually you're gonna need some sort of outlet. Me, because I'm creative and I love writing and I do these videos, that was my outlet. So that's what I did. I threw myself into that and I just started trying to figure out ways to push through a barrier of, you know, work and creativity. Some of the some of the best creativity and the best material and the best content comes from our pain, unfortunately. And wanna know why that is? It's because every person in this world has felt pain and every person in this world resonates with heartbreak. So find a way to convey how you're feeling into art. Maybe it'll help someone else feel less alone. And I think for me, the final and most important part was I didn't get closure. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it ended. And to be honest, that messed with my head even more, especially when you have depression and anxiety. Um, my mind tried to fill in the gaps. And when that happens, I need you to remind yourself of one really important thing. Just because this relationship ended doesn't mean it's all your fault. It doesn't. It takes two. Either you had a great reason for ending said relationship and you were looking out for your own needs and yeah, you're grieving a relationship you thought you saw potential in. And that's okay. Allow yourself to grieve. But don't sit there and put the entire blame on yourself. Because you have to trust and know that you made the right decision for you. And on the other hand, if you were broken up with, do not sit there and blame yourself 100% for why the relationship ended takes two. So yes, are we human and do we make mistakes all the time? If we don't make mistakes and we don't fall down, how do we learn? We don't. And I know it's tough now to see this and think, you know, I'm never going to find anyone else. I messed everything up. This is all my fault. Everything happens for a reason. I swear. If there's one thing I've learned, on my mental health journey it's that everything happens for a reason and the things that happen that are outside of our control we have to learn to let go of you can't control how someone else feels you can't control someone else's decisions you can't control anything people are gonna do what they're gonna do all you can do is work on bettering yourself healing and trying to be the best you that you can be. You have to go through the eye of the storm to get to the other side. You do. It's gonna be messy and it's gonna be rough. You're not even gonna know, like if you're on the right course, you're on the right path, you have no idea, but you are. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked my video, please subscribe. If you think this may help someone, please share it with them. Um, if you have any suggestions for next week or if there's anything in this video that I talked about or covered that you would like me to talk more about, please comment below. But other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week this week 
and I will see you guys on Saturday for another Serial Saturday. Ah!